just takes me away from everything. Gets me in my own little world, helps me relax. Playing the guitar is David Levin's way to unwind from the pressures of daily life and of having Crohn's disease. He was diagnosed with the disease in his late 20s, right around the time he was about to marry his wife, Eileen. It was very debilitating. I mean, I didn't want to do anything. I was tired. I couldn't eat. I mean, I was losing weight. David's initial symptoms sent him to the doctor for tests. A CAT scan revealed abscesses in his abdomen. After a diagnosis of Crohn's disease, an autoimmune disorder causing inflammation in the bowels, David began a treatment program. Doctors say treating Crohn's disease involves a series of goals. The first is to make a correct diagnosis. The second goal, however, is what's called induction of remission. So that term means turning off the inflammation to make the patient feel well. What doctor are you seeing? Dr. Wolf, please. And our goal for remission is that they are able to sleep through the night, that they're having formed bowel movements, that they're not bleeding, and that they're able to function and do all the things that are important to them. The third goal of treatment is to maintain remission, control inflammation, and prevent flares of the disease. These goals are accomplished with several different medications. Some of the medicines are pill form, and others are administered intravenously. The list includes anti-inflammatories, immunosuppressant medications, corticosteroids, and biologic therapies to help control inflammation. Douglas Wolfe is a gastroenterologist practicing in the Atlanta area. He prescribed a biologic therapy to David Levin. Fortunately, in David's case, this medication was very effective and has been a great drug for him, which has benefited him for at least five years and uh, perhaps longer at this point. Of course, all these therapies have to be considered in terms of their cost, but also very importantly in terms of their safety. Any medicine that you choose has to be looked at very carefully so that we know the patient is willing to take it and that as far as we know, it's going to be safe for their long-term use. To achieve the best control of Crohn's disease and many other chronic conditions, doctors say it's vital for patients to follow the treatment plan outlined by a healthcare team. Compliance with medication, no matter what the age of the patient, can be tough, especially when faced with long-term use. Some experts say it may be particularly difficult for teens to stay on their medications. Because they don't want to be sick. They want to be normal. They want to just move on with their life. Some patients may find that medicine alone may not be enough and surgery may be needed. But doctors say patients should set their expectations high for being able to manage Crohn's disease with fewer disruptions in their quality of life. I think if patients uh, seek out uh, expert and adequate uh, care for their Crohn's disease and insist that they be treated with these medications that are uh, advances in, in this area, that many of them can be in remission most of the time. David Levin has been doing well with the medication he's on, and he shares this advice for others. I mean, I would say listen to your doctor. Um, and if the doctor you're seeing doesn't sound like they have a, the answers, don't be afraid to get a second opinion. I did. And that's, you know, that's what got me to where I am in terms of feeling, you know, getting to the right medicine.